Hi everyone, it's Phil Ralston from 930 Service on Sunday. I'm here at the Bellagio Conservatory. Man, what a great valley we live in. This is awesome. Check this out. Wave security guard. All right, everybody, Merry Christmas. You're probably seeing this on Christmas Eve or on Christmas Day. Hope you have a great service with Pastor Dave and Pastor Diane. Merry Christmas. Welcome to worship at Christ the Servant from our living room to yours. We are honored that you have chosen to worship with us on Christmas. We have some beautiful Christmas music for you, so turn up the volume and let's get started. in darkness have seen a great light. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Those who dwelt in the land of deep darkness, on them has light shined. We have beheld Christ's glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. Shining star 
from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 9. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace For the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this.
from the prophet Micah, chapter 5. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. Still we see thee lie Above thy deep and dreamless sleep The silent stars go by Yet in thy dark street shineth The everlasting light The hopes and fears of all the years Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above. While mortals sleep, the angels keep their watch of wandering love. O morning stars together proclaim the holy birth and praises sing. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. angels the great glad tidings tell oh come to us abide with us our Lord Emmanuel 
the birth of Jesus according to Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While, while they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Sing glory to the newborn King, peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled, joyful all you nations rise, join the triumph of the skies, with angelicals proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn King. Christ by highest heaven adored. Christ the everlasting Lord. Late in time behold Him come. God and see Hail 
when the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. What's one thing that you feel on Christmas? 
a great sense of hope, but that's not one thing. I want to say hope, joy, love, peace. It's a whole combination of all those many things to know how God's love has reached out to us. The God who is the highest God, the God of the universe, comes to be with us here on this earth. How about you? She didn't know I was going to ask that question. No. I just spontaneously <laughs> asked it. Um, you know, from, from my perspective, uh, Christmas, I feel a lot of things because, um, you know, a lot. most people wait till after Thanksgiving to start preparing for Christmas, but I have to do it much more in advance, this year especially, with needing to record Christmas music and uh, to have Dan and Veronica and Kylie also record the music mm -hmm. and get it back and forth to me. So Christmas to me is an awful lot of activity. And Christmas Eve, when we have four worship services at Christ the Servant, and this year we'll have more, including the online worship, uh, there's an awful lot of doing and being with people. Mm -hmm. And so, so I, I think about that. And then coming home exhausted, going to bed, and waking up early to make sure our home Christmas morning is ready for our son Paul. Mm -hmm. Because even at age 30 with Down syndrome, Christmas is the greatest day Best of day the ever. year. And so um, we all get down in the, in the living room right here and open presents. And then I quickly have to get dressed to go to uh, do the Christmas morning worship and service. And I stay to keep watching Paul open presents. It takes him a couple hours <laughs> because he carefully opens each mm -hmm. present and looks at it and studies it. He savors the moment. Mm -hmm. And so I guess that's part of it is, you know, the savor the moment. And it's not because of the decorations, because of the presence, because of all of that. It, it's because of everything we are gets wrapped up in a present on, on Christmas. And even in the midst of being busy, because there's so many people in our world that have to be busy on Christmas. I think of all the hospital people and, and first responders. They... They don't get to pause and ponder, um, but it all gets wrapped up on Christmas, everything, whether you're relaxing at home or whether you're, you're busy, but there's just that consciousness, that awareness that we are celebrating the birth of our Savior, and that is the feeling that, that I have on Christmas. And, and, you know, with all the other things that are going on, mm -hmm. Uh, I, I can always pause and reflect on that promise being made real, even though this year Christmas will be very different for so many people, uh, for all of us. It, it will be different. Uh, it is different, but it's no less than any other Christmas celebration. Mm -hmm. And so we can, uh, we can all rest that God has fulfilled the promise of ultimately taking care of all of our needs Again, all wrapped up mm -hmm. in one Christmas present on Christmas. So the shepherds have come, and there's uh, that crowd of guests that have come to your home. But then they leave, and there is just Mary and Joseph and Jesus. And I think there is something that we can hold on to in a new way, perhaps, this year, that that was the first Christmas, and yeah, all the shepherds showed up, but actually it was something very small. It really was just an immediate family gathered together and understanding that God was doing an amazing thing and that all of the promises that had been made were coming to fulfillment. And like Mary to just ponder that and treasure that. Have you ever had that feeling of, what am I going to do now? I think that's a pretty common human experience. What am I going to do now? When our son Paul was born back in 1990, mm -hmm. and uh, we did not know he was going to have so many uh, health challenges at birth, uh, being in the 
pediatric ICU for a week. And, and then the day came when they said that we could go home, we could take him home uh, with an oxygen tank and a tube taped to that little mm-hmm. face of his. And I still vividly remember thinking, what am I going to do now? I didn't sign up for this. I, I don't know. You, you have to keep him in the hospital until you fix him. He's not fixed yet. And I think we both probably had that feeling of what are we going to do now? And I wonder if Mary and Joseph had that kind of feeling also. You know, we, we've we read the scriptures and how mm-hmm. the angel promises to Mary this is what's going to happen. And yet here they are and they're putting baby Jesus in a manger with the hay in the midst of the animals and probably thinking, wow, what are we going to do now? Mm -hmm. And I think that when we have that experience, we can be assured that God knows what to do now. And it's just like looking under that Christmas tree and seeing all those presents wrapped up and not knowing what they are. You know, that's kind of like our life. We don't know what they are, but the gift giver Hmm. knows what they are. And God is our gift giver, giving us the gift of Jesus. We pray that you have a very blessed and meaningful and wonderful Christmas experience. Even in this Christmas of 2020, the one we can all talk about for years to come.
pray for an increase of peace under the reign of Christ, for safety for those in places ravaged by violence and war. Christ our Lord, bring peace on earth. We pray for the spread of the good news of great joy that Jesus is born. Christ our Lord, bring joy to the world. We pray for the poor who find no room. Christ our Lord, bring help to the poor. We pray for the light of Christmas to shine on those who suffer, cure our world of COVID-19, strengthen all medical people, heal the sick, Give them the gift of your healing power. Christ our Lord, bring healing to this world. We pray all these things, knowing that you, O Lord, know the hopes and desires of our hearts through Jesus Christ, our newborn King. Alleluia. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Please join us in speaking these words. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again after supper he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me.
body of Christ given for you, the blood of Christ shed for you, the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.
Go in peace, serve the Lord. Stay in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Again, we pray a blessed, meaningful, and Merry Christmas to all of you. And we have some more Christmas music for you right now. Silent flocks by night Behold throughout the heavens There shone a holy light Go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is born salvation that blessed Christmas morn. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. the newborn king. Sages, leave your contemplations, brighter visions beam afar. Seek the great desire of nations, you have seen his natal star. Come and worship, come and worship, Worship Christ the newborn King. All creation join in praising God the Father, Spirit, Son. Evermore your voice is raising to the eternal three in one. Come and worship. Worship, worship Christ the newborn King. Come and worship, 
come and worship, worship Christ the newborn King. It came upon the midnight clear That glorious song of old From angels bending near the earth To touch their harps of gold Peace on the earth, good will to all From heaven's all-gracious King The world in solemn stillness lay To hear the angels sing Still through the cloven skies they come With peaceful wings unfurled And still their heavenly music floats O'er all the weary world Above its sad and lowly plains They bend on hovering wing And ever o'er its babel sounds The blessed angels sing And you beneath life's crushing load Whose forms are bending low who toil along the climbing way With painful steps and slow Look now for glad and golden eyes Come swiftly on the wing Oh, rest beside the weary road And hear the angels sing For lo, the days are hastening on By prophets seen of old When with the ever-circling years Shall come the time foretold When peace shall over all the earth His ancient splendors fling And all the world give back the song Which now the angels sing 